So we're going to work out the volume of a pyramid. Now it is a, it is a convergent shape. So now volume will equal to one third of the length times the width times the height. The problem is to work out the height. So we're going to draw a right angled triangle. And using the information we've already been given, we should be able to work out the height of this triangle eventually. So we'll call that H. Now, the hypotenuse of our black triangle, we can find from the face of the isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle. So, triangle A, B, A, D, X, where the hypotenuse is 10, and X to D is 5, because it's half of that width. So, the the side must be the square root of 100 take away 25, which is root 75. And we'll leave it in its most exact form for now. So we'll get back to our black triangle. And now we should be able to work out the height. And we'll label the right angle M, the middle of the triangle, the base, and the vertices A and X. Now we worked out a to x to be root 75. And we know m to x is 5, because it is half the length. So the height will be the square root of root 75 squared minus 5 squared, which is 25. So it will be the root of 50, which is about 7.07 .07. so now we can go back to our volume it'll be one third of the length times the width which is 100 multiplied by the height and that calculation to three significant figures comes out as 236 centimeters cubed